Hey everyone, it's Justin. In this video, I want to talk about Microsoft Teams and ServiceNow project and portfolio management. This is probably one of my favorite integrations because it just makes sense. You know, you can track a project, you can look at tasks and timelines and deadlines, but that's not really where people collaborate, where people work on things. Um, people are usually working every day in Microsoft Teams. So let me show you what how this works. Um, I'm gonna start with just creating a brand new project. Now you could go to an existing project, um, but I'm gonna start brand new so you can see it. Uh, let's say demo for YouTube, for you all. Uh, we're gonna demo this, it's gonna be a project. I'm not gonna use a template, I'm just gonna confirm that. It's gonna create my project within ServiceNow. When you create the project in ServiceNow, you're gonna get all the standard stuff that you'd expect with a project, you know, the planning console that you're seeing here, work breakdown structure, um, the uh, Gantt chart. I'm gonna go directly to the project details. So this is gonna take me out of the new project workspace into the project details. It's just a form view of a project. You're used to seeing this for everything else in service now, a task, an incident, a request. Um, that's what we're looking at, but it's for a project. What I'm waiting on to load here is a related list on the project form record that is going to allow us to enable the Microsoft Teams PPM collaboration. So you can see here, I've got two of the buttons actually, Microsoft Teams and Slack. So today we're talking about Teams. Um, if I click this button, it is going to set off a series of jobs that is going to do a couple of things. It's going to go create a group, it's going to go create a channel in Microsoft Teams and set up all this stuff for this particular project. So I'm going to click the button and then I'm going to pull up Microsoft Teams in a web browser video so we can see a web browser, uh, another web browser, not a web browser video, so we can see what that looks like. Um, on the left hand side, I've got two others here where I was testing and making sure that this actually worked before I recorded this, but I'm expecting that now that I've enabled that in ServiceNow, let's just pull down this web browser video or web browser screen just for a second. Team creation in Microsoft is still in progress. Try again after some time by reloading the form. So again, it kicked off some flows, some workflows in Flow Designer to go do the tasks that need to be done to create that channel within Microsoft Teams. So we're just gonna wait for that to pop up here. I'm gonna try doing something. I'm gonna to switch to uh, the calendar view and back to Teams and let's see if it actually came up um, in there. Oh, it's not there yet. While we're waiting, let me show you um, in one of these previous ones that I've set up to make sure it was working. One of the things that's happening is it's sending a daily status report to the Teams channel. So you can see it's been running for a while since I had set it up. And that's just an automated uh, message that goes to the Teams channel and includes the project status. So you see their project name, plan start and end dates, what the state is, the project status is currently read, percent complete, any overdue tasks. And um, I can click see more and show more stuff information. Now you can go in and tailor what shows up on this actual card. I haven't changed this from what's out of the box, but all of these are set up in Flow Designer where you can go in and, and kind of configure these according to your requirements for your, your system. So again, while we wait, let me show you what happened there on the back end. This is in uh, Flow Designer. I'm looking at the executions that have occurred and you can see, as I was saying, there's some things that actually happened. One is it created an Office 365 group and two is it created a Teams channel. And uh, in this demo, I'm actually still not seeing it over here and I just realized why. So let's go back over to the project and, um, oh, I am the project manager. Let's just assign this to me, um, Justin Meadows, and see if uh, saving that has any effect on um, what shows up in Teams over here. So we'll pull it back up, Teams. Still not seeing it there. Logged in as me. Okay, so there were some errors in Flow Designer. I was going through, looking at some things. There was a bad message, team owner group not found. So. I'm going to try doing this live and I'm just going to hit to show you things don't go perfectly, right? So um, when you're integrating applications, um, I could edit this out and make it perfect. That's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to show you. So let's uh, show the imperfection and I'm going to hit enable MS Teams collaboration again. 
and let that get started and it should actually do it. I was verifying that uh, everything was there and clicking it again did work. So I've got the demo for YouTube and now it's showing. So sometimes things don't go perfectly and I think that's really important for you to see and for you to understand that when you do this, your mileage may vary. You may need to try a couple of things to do that, but let's get to um, the other stuff I wanted to show you here. So if we go back to Flow Designer, if I go to the home page and I go to Flows and I search on the PPM collaboration application in uh, Flow Designer, there are several, and I have another video for this too, several things, issues, change requests, decisions, actions, you can go into each one of these and configure when they'll trigger. So it could be that the issue is critical or high or something like that. So let's take a look at what one of those looks like. I'm gonna open up um, the issues tab here, just behind my head and uh, we'll go click issues and I'm gonna do, um, I'll just move my head. There's a new button uh, for the issue right here. I'm gonna click that and we're gonna create a new issue in this particular project. We're gonna set the priority. I'm gonna make everything critical high so that you see this flows over to Microsoft Teams. We'll assign it to myself, Justin, and we'll say, uh, we'll just call this again, demo for YouTube, uh, so we can see that. And what this will do, based on that flow that I was just showing, or one of those flows I was just showing over there, it will go ahead and communicate that high critical issue over to Microsoft Teams. So I'm in the general channel. We're gonna see a, a flow is gonna kick off in the background in ServiceNow. And it's gonna take that issue and it's gonna post it to this channel so that we someone gets notified that something's going on. So you see it there, just popped in, 11, 17 a.m. We've got this issue demo for YouTube and I can click on that and it'll take me to the issue and uh, you can tailor what content actually shows up in Microsoft Teams for when you're, when you're doing that. The other one I showed earlier, the project status reports, that's another one that can come over here. And there's issues, there's actions, there's decisions, there's risks. So if I was to come in, we'll do one more live so you can see it here. We're gonna create a new risk. This is something people might wanna know about, right? I've got a new risk that's been determined to be absolutely probable and the written impact is high. And so that gives it a risk rank of one, a risk value of one dash high. And this is a, a very big risk just happened. Now, a lot of times when I demo this, uh, what I tell people, my go-to example is, if you're managing projects and you're tracking a risk, the risk may be that the, you know, COVID is happening or something like that, something scary. So you can see that that just popped through one minute later, a very big risk just happened. And of course you can click on these and it'll take you to ServiceNow for you to see that. But I hope you found this video helpful. PPM collaboration or project and portfolio management in ServiceNow integrated with Teams. You can set up even more flows than what's out of the box. There's a ton out of the box, but really kind of bringing the project collaboration into the team space and getting there directly, feeding information back and forth from ServiceNow to Microsoft Teams. Again, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.